So I was at Target the other day. I love Target. And I saw a bottle of wine that had Snoop Dogg on it. What? Yeah. yeah. I brought it with me. Oh yeah? Let's yeah. get it. Oh my God, buddy! Oh gosh, dang it. What? Not Christmas, get out of here. Nope, 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 nope. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to Why Not. I'm Nick. And I'm Sam. Oh, and this is where we are doing a wine tasting. Uh, we have full bodied opinions and a dry sense of humor. <laughs> I'm really bad what at this. <laughs> <laughs> what we got today? Well, I picked up this bottle. It is a Sweet Lucy Red. I believe Ooh. it's from Coco Pelli. I like Coco Pelli. But I'm not 100% certain. It looks like it was on their website. I mean, there's not a Coco Pelli on it, so how would you know? <laughs> right, right. The logo, the label has changed a lot since the last time I had it. I had it years ago, so I thought we could try it again yeah. and see what we think. If, I think that sounds great. If I still like it. Um, I still like it. <laughs> <laughs> so you've had this before. I have many, not. Many, many, many years ago. I have not ago. had this ever in my life because I'm still fairly new to wine drinking. Despite our drunken nights <laughs> with our girlfriends, I am not a big wino. That's all right. Well, that's, you know, however you drink your wine. It's the right way. It's the right way. Mm -hmm. So this one, it says it was grown, produced, and bottled right here in Arizona. I like that local, lo 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 local stuff. <laughs> I got this. I can Me say too. words. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it's 100% Arizona grown grapes. Mm. So... I'm so down. as it's a red, let's, uh, you know. I hope so. I mean. Give it a pour. Let's see what color it is when it comes out. Absolutely. Now, oh. <gasps> that gurgle. That glug. Oh, that sounds so good. I was too. What are you doing? I spilled all over the bar again. Hmm. <sighs> well, I'm going to get really, really bad into at smelling this because. Yeah. I've never. Oh, gosh. Let's it smells it a really a lot like alcohol. Oh, it smells really sweet. Yeah, I'm getting, man, all I can smell is wine. It's mm -hmm. definitely, definitely a red. Yeah, look at that like, color. They're not lying about that. Are you sure it's not, it's almost like, like black. Yeah, like you can't see through it. It's, you can't. It's pretty, uh, it's a pretty dark color. It is. Let's sniff eyes a little bit more. Hmm. Are you getting, I want to know what you're picking up. Uh, See if I'm you're getting the same thing as me. Some, uh, it's like a searing on my nostrils a little bit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Slightly <laughs> fruity. There is definitely grapey. Yeah, yeah, I get the grapes. It's definitely like, so, have you had Welch's grape juice? You know, I have. It's been years for that, though, too. What? You have kids. <laughs> well, the spark, are you talking like the regular stuff or the sparkling stuff? Uh, definitely not the sparkling stuff. Oh, I'm all about that like sparkle Like, maybe life. if you got some, like, sparkling cider from uh, Thanksgiving and then you mixed it with your Welch's, Welch's grape juice, I think that's, that's, that's what we would get. You know, I believe they make a grape flavor. Do they? Yeah. You want to taste? Yeah. Let's give it a cheers. Cheers. Here. Mm. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. I like that. Mmm. Mmm. It's really sweet. So it's got like this syrupy-ness to it. And it's a very thick, like you can see, I don't know if you can see it, but there is some, what is it, tearing? Is that what that's called? Or just drips. Just, yeah. Yeah. I know I'm going to say this on the internet, but thick drips. <laughs> It is, it is. It's really thick in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> After dark. <laughs> it's for later. Yeah, I'm not sure if I'm getting a little pepperiness in it. Yeah. And you know, uh, uh, I think there's a lot of alcohol in it, but I just, I can't really taste it. Yes, that's what it is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm tasting now that you said that. Like, mm hmm Like, okay, so when it starts, I'm really getting a lot of that, maybe a little grapiness. Yeah, yeah, that's a really good way. I like the way you put that. Thank you, thank you. And then, like, the alcohol, <laughs> and then it's got, like, that sweet taste that just, like, rides through. It really does. I feel it right here in my chest. 
the sweetness you know goes what? all the way down. I'm getting it right here behind the ears. Just yeah. that, that slight tartiness to mm. it. Yeah. It's just giving me that right behind the ears kind of pinch. For all you people out there who really like sweet wines, really don't drink wine in general, you might like this. If you like grape juice, if you like the dark grapes, the red grapes. Yes. Red grapes, that's what they are. Red grapes. Red grapes. I Although think you'd I... really like this. Are they purple or are they red? I don't know. There were like three red grapes when I was at the store today. Hmm. I've only had the red grapes. There's like red grapes, black grapes, and white grapes. Yeah. And of course, I the think there's green. Are there blue grapes? Oh, and green grapes. Green. Yeah, and the cotton candy grapes. Oh. Ooh, has somebody made wine with the cotton candy grapes? That would be really sweet. That, that might be a little too sweet. That would be definitely sweet. I wonder how this would taste if we just took like a really big gulp. Do you think it would change the flavor profile? You know, I'm not sure. Let me let me top off a little bit more. Yeah. Before I do that, because you know I am enjoying this, and it, it goes down really smooth. It really does. Yeah, it does, guys. Would you like a little bit more? Fuck yeah. Oh, beep. <laughs> Not it's okay, we're an adult show. That's right. Not that type of adult show. We moms. <laughs> Alright, well, cheers. Let's take a big cheers, let's take a big gulp and see oh, God. if it changes the flavor profile. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh. I really like it that way. Ooh. Yeah. You know, yeah, it's like It's like all the alcohol taste just went away because I couldn't even taste it. No, it was mm -hmm. just all Sweet. I'm gonna have to do that again too, I think. Alright, I'm gonna let you do Ooh, it. It made me tingly. <laughs> mm. Yeah, it's still a really, really deep color in the glass. I got a lot of wow. alcohol in that one. I would say if you're not a big wine drinker, for sure, because you know, a lot of wines can be really, really dry, and I'm not about the dry wines here. Mm. Dry sense of humor. Yes. Did, go up? did my eyebrow go up? <laughs> you know, I think it did. Oh, okay, good. Yeah, good job. My finger. <laughs> this would make a great sangria. Just add some more fruits. Like, I think this would be great with some more strawberries in there. You know, we... Oh, strawberries. Yeah. You know, we made a sangria. You know, check out one of our bar cart episodes. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll link it up in the corner. That corner? I think it's that corner. This corner. So we'll link our past bar cart where we made sangria using... What did we use? White wine, oh. oranges... Definitely some black cherries. Black cherries. Those are so good, guys. Always use fresh cherries. Don't use frozen cherries. And don't choke on the pits. Yeah, don't do that. Like, it's take your good. pits out before you put it in your sangria. Be responsible. And if you want to get a little wild, add a sugar cube in there. What? Just sweetens up the whole thing. You know, oh especially gosh. if it's a dry wine. Like, don't you know worry what? about that. Just throw in some sugar cubes. <laughs> That's a really great tip. Thank you. I wouldn't Thank have you. thought of that. You want some more? Yes. Yeah, yes, yes. I'd be happy to pour you some more. Can you do it while I move? I don't think I can. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta two-hand this, make sure we're stable. Uh, just, Is that good? Just a smidge more. Yeah. Okay, good. All right. Woo. Mm. You know, this is a very messy bottle. <laughs> That's okay. I mean, you're not doing it right unless you spill a little bit on the bar. That's correct. We got what, these. We got these. We got these. I'm really curious what these cards say. Let's, um, they don't look like a normal deck of cards here. No, so for all of you at home watching, mm -hmm. we have two decks here in front of us, brand new to the show. Mm -hmm. We are gonna try these out. Um, we've got a red one that says, would you rather? And we've got a green one that's, what the heck? Would you rather, would you rather makes me think of like when you're in high school or when you first start drinking and you play Never Have I Ever. This would, well, do you wanna, do you wanna draw the first card? I do. Let's, let's take a look. Ugh. Would you rather wear a onesie 24-7 for a year or a horse head costume for a month straight? Ooh. I don't think I would want to wear a horse head because nobody would know who you are, but you could cover a onesie. Nobody has to see that onesie. That's Layer true. Up. That's absolutely true. Well, can you change the onesie? I mean, I know they don't really say it, but... I don't know. A seems singular. A onesie, 24-7. How gross would that be? Like, for a year? Do you shower with it? Yeah. Mm. Or do you just not shower for Maybe a year? Maybe you just, like, wash your clothes in the shower. <laughs> <laughs> because I have a really comfortable Olaf onesie. Do you really? I do. Shut the front I door. I wear that. <laughs> it's very warm and cozy. But get inside a mm. snowman costume onesie thing. Do you want to build a snowman? Heck yes. I can't sing, guys. <laughs> it's it's okay. mind talking. We don't want to get copyright. What's your say? 
All right, well, let's take a look. Well, let me have a another sip. Okay. Uh, and we'll take a look at the what the heck deck. What the heck? All right. I think we had a little bit of this conversation earlier. Oh, yeah? Toilet paper, oh, over God. or under? Mm, that was a really big debate in my household when we what first got it? together. Yeah, so... Is it still a big debate? Sometimes. If I put it on the roll wrong, oh. my husband likes to point it out and be like, you put it on wrong. Can you put toilet paper on wrong? Apparently you can. You should comment below. Tell us your answer. Do you put it with the roll coming from the top? Over. Or do you under, under? Where you just like grab and pull from the bottom. You know, there's a third option. Or actually a few options. My option is as long as it's on the roll, I don't care. I think that's a really great option because that's usually my case. Ain't right. nobody got time for that. No. Sitting there trying to manipulate 3D shapes like some kind of fancy person. I can't do that. Mm -mm. As long as it's on the roll. And then there's the, the fourth type of person who just sticks it. Oh, that's me. On top. I do that too. Oh, are you that person? I'm that person. It depends on the day of the week and how my day's going. Yeah. But I'm definitely that person too. Sometimes you can't be Somebody bothered. Somebody else will do it. You can. You got kids. You got to do this. You got to get out of that bathroom and go see why they're screaming. Yep, that's true. Like, mm. who kicks somebody in the butt? I, I don't know. Mm. This is really good. This? I'm starting to feel it in my head now. Oh, yeah. Like, maybe behind my eyes. See, I can always feel in my neck. What? Like, it gets really tight. and kind of like... Ugh. Ugh. It's like poking Ugh. out. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. There is, Are like, the Hulk in my neck. I'm going to do another one of these. Would you rather mm. have your most embarrassing photos posted on Facebook or accidentally fall in public and the video go viral? I'm sure there are some embarrassing photos of me on Facebook. Yeah. Everybody's Facebook has embarrassing <laughs> photos. You just don't know it yet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I would rather take the second option. I'd rather it just go viral. I'd be, you know, the girl who fell down the stairs or into the koi pond or something. I almost fell at our wedding. <laughs> Did you? Yeah, when I was trying to take my shoes off. Oh, gosh. So, uh, for our wedding, we got married on April Fool's Day, and I wore a T-Rex costume, one of those blow-up things. Oh, yeah. And when I was unzipping it to come out, I walked to the aisle in it. I didn't go down the aisle, but I walked to the aisle in it, and I was like, hey, guys, I'm in a T-Rex costume, you know? And I unzipped it, my parents were trying to help me out, and it got caught on my foot, and I almost stripped oh. trying to pull my, my, my feet off. My, oh, my, no. My shoes, not my feet. My feet are real. <laughs> Don't pull your feet off. I don't have a prosthetic <laughs> foot. <laughs> They're real feet. <laughs> you were such a cute dinosaur bride. It was so fun. It was so fun. I loved our wedding. It was really cute. <laughs> and I think this is going to be airing on April Fool, so happy anniversary. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you. Well, cheers to that. Cheers. Cheers. But you know what? Let's 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 look at another card. Let's look at a what the heck. Mm, yeah. Okay. If peanut butter wasn't called peanut butter, what would it be called? Sticky nuts. Sticky nuts. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I can see that because it is very sticky. Like, have you tried washing it off a butter knife? It's just like it's not happening. It, then it gets on your sponge. All right. So sticky nuts. Yeah, I can't come up with anything. Like the the best I can come up with is like creamy nut stuff <laughs> but i don't want that on the internet so it's too late there's no take backsies um, it's there forever yeah like nut spread nut spread i think we were talking about nuts, nuts and <laughs> too on the internet. Oh my God. i'm sorry i just i had to it's the wine it's getting to me i told you it's like in the back of my head it's behind my eyes it's just taken over my whole brain your whole brain yeah. so i mean i think that's a good testimony does it feel like the alcohol content on this I mean, maybe I'm a lightweight. Who knows? I'm a mom. So I miss those days when we did a girls' night, and it's supposed to be like a wine tasting, and it really just ends up with us trying to drag our friends home across the street with Chris's help. Six bottles of wine deep. Oh, that was so fun. And then yeah. shots of tequila. You know, there's no alcohol okay. content on this. I mean, it's a table wine. So, I mean, what would the table be? Like, if, I, I mean, is that what, what, is that would what the that table means? be? I'm yeah, sorry. like, if. You, if you're trying to figure out what the alcohol content on the table, because it's a table wine, isn't there a table of, like, alcohol contents for the wines? A table of contents for the alcohol? What? <laughs> yes! Yeah, like a table <laughs> that talks is about it like, the alcohol content. Is it like, this is the beginning notes are? Section one. <laughs> section two, the bottom notes. Uh, section three, what is it? Your resources? I don't know. Do Where did like you get tables? these from? Like, wait, like would you rather, tables? like, a table or a computer 
spreadsheet table. A computer spreadsheet table. I, I would love too. Excel. I <laughs> love spreadsheets. Do you? High five. High five. How? My, sorry, my hands are wet. That was like your heel. <laughs> I know, because my hands are wet and I didn't want to get wine all over you. I mean, it's in me. <laughs> <laughs> I like another question. No. I'm just gonna go rogue. I'm gonna pick one in the middle of the deck like a rebel, and it's upside down. <laughs> I didn't know you could read upside down. Well, I can. <laughs> would you rather be covered in bees or spiders? Oh God, no. I would probably die in either situation. Same. Um, uh, I am deathly afraid of bees and wasps and anything that flies and stings. Another funny story. Uh -oh. When I first met my husband, <laughs> uh, I was sleeping over one night, and there was the biggest spider I've ever seen. Like, I swear to God, it was as big as my palm. I oh, had God. small hands here, but, I mean, it's still a pretty big spider. Was it a tarantula? No. I don't know what it was. It was just huge. And he was sleeping, and I was letting him sleep, so I put a cup over it because I was afraid of it. <laughs> I didn't want to touch it, and I didn't want to move it, because what what am I going to do? I don't know, but I don't... Bleh. No. Yeah. Nope, uh -uh. nope, nope. Cup I waited it. so long for him to wake up and take care of it, and he just put it outside. Yeah, yeah, well... He saved it. You know, I feel bad killing things if they're just, like, lost. Well, I mean, that size, the scrunch in that, or uh, the crunch. <laughs> would you like a little bit? Yep. A little bit more? Sure would. Like, I wouldn't want to, um... Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm, yeah. The more we get into this, the uh, less alcohol I taste. And the more uh, tingly I feel everywhere. Hmm. You know, now, some people do add uh, a couple ice cubes to their wine to chill it. But I heard you shouldn't do that with a red. Why? I don't know. I like cold wine. If you know why, comment below. Please. Please. Let us know, because we're clearly not educated. Because. On wine. I'm no. a smart lady. Like, we're just here testing it. We're not professionals. Mm -mm. We are just, we're just two women in our garage enjoying wine. Without and, our children. And <laughs> sharing that journey with you. Yeah. But, I mean, if, if you're one of those people that likes, you know, ice cubes in your wine, go for it. Why not? Why not? Why not? Exactly. Why not? Cheers. Cheers. Woo! Mm -hmm. Why not? I heard a cry. Uh oh. Just drink more wine, you won't hear it anymore. Yeah, I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna pretend I didn't hear anything. I would like to try more from this, this vineyard. Yeah. Maybe maybe a white, because I heard that they have some good whites. Yeah. But you know, table, table reds. I mean, table reds. They're not fancy. They're just table reds. I like reds. sweet wine. This I do. Good stuff. As long as it's sweet, I will take that. I'm a sweet grape kind of person. You know, I like my grapey wines. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like grape wine too. It's definitely really good. Yeah. Oh, I think I'm a. Uh, what are you guys doing back there? <gasps> what? Scatter! <laughs> well, that was a weird cut. That was a hell of a thing. <laughs> uh, so, the moments that I was actually back there for. Pure gold. Oh, yeah. I can't wait to see this in post. Why, oh, yeah. Why am I even talking? I've already seen it. If you guys are watching this now, I've already seen it in post. You have. And I'm sure it was amazing. But you can't wait to, to look forward to doing it. As of this moment right now, I cannot wait to put it together. <laughs> uh, I am very excited to see uh, what all cam comes out of that. Yeah. So, I mean, happy April Fool's. Uh, this has been like happy, nine happy months. Happy anniversary. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Today is, well, yeah. As, yeah. Today is as a bearing. Yeah. My anniversary. Yeah. I mean, they went over that, so they know already, but I yeah. wanted to make sure I said that. I appreciate it. Yeah. Otherwise, I wouldn't have known. I have no idea what the dogs are barking at on the other side of that wall. However, uh, so I guess this is the first half of a two-parter. Yeah? Yeah? So, the intention was the wives got us some whiskey to try. Um, they were curious about, so we were going to try them on the, on the show. So, tune in next week. We're going to try the wives gifts, few cold cut bourbon and peerless straight bourbon whiskey. Ooh, I'm very excited to try that. My wife bought this just because she liked the label. Oh, it's a cool label. It's a cool bottle too. Yeah. Yeah, it's a very interesting bottle design. So, if you liked what you saw here today, I know I liked what I saw here today. Yeah. Give us a like, give us a subscribe, comment down below. Do you want more wine? <laughs> because that's something that can be arranged. I mean, what is a wine? What is a wine? I I know I would like to know. <laughs> I got very intrigued with what I just saw. Both of our wives are half a bottle deep. 
think they're a full <laughs> bottle deep. <laughs> well, each. Collectively, oh, yeah, they're yeah. a full yeah. bottle deep. Yeah. Um, I can't. Yes. This was amazing. So comment down below. <laughs> let us know your thoughts because I want this to happen uh, again. Uh, yeah, I'm, I, I do. I don't know if our normal whiskey tagline really fits here, but... How that do you was like the, your alcohol? That was the right way. That was the right way. <laughs>